So, all right, so there's a number of things that we want to talk about today. Uh, first thing I think that is important for us to talk about, we just started a new cycle at, at Functional Fitness, so we're getting after it. We're getting a little muscle burn this cycle. We're doing what's called a time under tension um, cycle. What is time under tension, what is Trevor? Time under tension? It's T-U-T. Um, so time under tension. So let's talk about how a muscle actually changes, right? And so a muscle does not, oh, little little actin and myosin connection going on there. Well, um, they slide. So a muscle reacts to tension. It doesn't matter if that tension comes from a barbell, a dumbbell, a kettlebell, a band. A muscle responds to tension. There's receptors in the muscle that respond to tension, right? And so, and then we look at time under tension. So if you have a really, really high load, okay, let's say I have 300 pounds of weight on my back and I squat with it, that's a lot of tension right? But if I just go down and come up, that's very little time under tension. And so that creates a specific adaptation, right? If I were to go down really, 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 really slow and then come up really, really, really slow and do five reps like that in a row, my time under tension is going to be much longer, which is going to create a different adaptation in the muscle. And that adaptation is for that muscle to grow, to get stronger. So let's talk about add something in about time under tension you actually cannot do an exercise incorrectly when you do time under tension because it forces your body into a good position. So it also is going to ensure that you're in proper form when you do it. You're trying right now to do a bad squat, aren't you? I'm doing a squat right now. I'm, out, I'm, out, I'm, out, I'm, I'm, I'm on the elevator. So it actually is going to force you into a really good position while you're doing the exercises because they're very hard to do in the wrong position when right. you're going that slow. So that's a huge benefit to do thing, doing them as well. Another reason right. we love. I, oh, your your thing is done. I'm I. It has Not a quite. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go a little longer. Don't but don't. So you thirsty. can't wreck it. You can't wreck it. Um, another thing with time under tension. Why we like time under tension. Or when I say time under tension, I mean a slow eccentric, maybe a pause at the transition period and a slow concentric. So something they, we would also call a tempo. Right, slow on the way down, maybe a little pause, slow on the way up. This is also a great thing that you can do if you're doing body weight exercises or exercises that you don't have a ton of load to do. And so you can really slow down the movement pattern and that's gonna create a lot of stress to the muscle and then stress then repairs and then you get stronger, right? And so time under tension is probably one of the best ways uh, uh, to build muscle, what we call hypertrophy. So to actually make the muscle bigger. So I did the strength A workout on Tuesday, which was yesterday. And one of the things that I also found out is that if you are doing these and you're finishing really, really fast, you might actually be doing too much weight and you might want to lower your load because if you can't go that slow at that load, that means you need to go slower. And if you can't go slower at the, it's, Fast is slow and slow is fast. That's at least what we say. Like you need to slow it down to be able to speed it up. So I think it's really important to get an appropriate load. So maybe you went too heavy and you and you were going too fast because of it. So that's another thing to kind of pay attention to when people are going through these workouts. Right. Because when we're doing tempo, time under tension stuff, we're getting rid of momentum, right? So a lot of people when they lift, they want to use momentum, right? We load up and then we go or we bounce the thing off our chest or we bounce out of the hole in a squat, right? We're or we creating... drop the, the, we drive the barbell into the ground to deadlift and pop it back off the floor. Right. So we're using momentum. We're using tendon, ligament, elasticity in order to get through the movement, which really our goal probably is strength development and, and muscle development, right? We want to eliminate momentum and we want to force the muscle to do the work the entire time. Because if you're doing true proper tempo work or time under tension work, you it should be really, really challenging and it should burn like none other, right? There should be an extreme discomfort that happens by the end. And so we had a few complainy pants the first couple times that we've done time under tensions. And so I want to just have a little PSA for those complainy pants is we need to make sure we're using appropriate load. We're going slow enough. We're eliminating momentum. And if you're doing all of those things, you're going to get a great workout, even if we're just using bands, 
right? That implement doesn't matter at all, right? It's all tension to our body. So, um, so that's what we got. So if you're at home or you're doing home workouts, one of the best things to do is just slow things down. If you're really good at push-ups, you can rock out 30 of them. Now try and do five second push-ups. Slow on the way down, pause, slow on the way back up. And so it's just another way to vary an exercise so that you continue to get progress with it. So some fun stuff there.